Let's take a closer look at the components that make up an automated sprinkler system and what they do. To start, the basic fixed spray sprinkler head is very versatile. It works well for watering small, medium, and irregularly shaped areas. It's useful in a variety of situations because its nozzle is interchangeable with an incredible array of available spray patterns. Starting with the standard patterns of full circle, half circle, and quarter circle, the nozzle selection also includes many other useful shapes and sizes. This allows you to put the water right where you need it. Another category of sprinkler head is rotors. They shoot individual streams of water while rotating at the same time. By the way, this concept of water-powered rotation was pioneered by Rainbird with the invention of the impact head sprinkler in 1933. One of the benefits of this type of sprinkler is that because the water flow is more focused than with a spray pattern, the distance of throw is greater. Multi-stream rotary sprinklers are a good choice to cover medium areas from 17 to 24 feet. Because the rotating streams distribute the water at a more controlled rate, the water has more time to soak into the landscape, avoiding excess runoff. This type of rotor is perfect for slopes, tight soils, and grass areas. They're available in full, half, and quarter circle patterns. Single stream rotary sprinklers are designed to provide coverage for large areas from 19 to 50 feet. They can be fitted with a range of different nozzles to fine-tune the distance of throw and the rate of water being applied. These nozzles also incorporate years of Rainbird design expertise to produce a uniform curtain of water between the sprinkler nozzle and the outside edge of its pattern. Impact rotary sprinklers are the ones we all recognize for their unique sound while operating. Their range is excellent between 25 and 54 feet. They're known for their rugged durability and are especially well suited for use in areas with heavy mineral content, such as hard water and well water, that can clog and corrode other sprinklers. One important note about rotors, because of their rotation time, it will take about two and a half times longer than a spray type head to deliver the same amount of water. Flood bubblers are a simple irrigation device designed for watering trees and large shrubs. There is a selection of flow rates and patterns to choose from. The concept of landscape drip irrigation is to deliver water directly to each individual plant and to do it very slowly. While standard sprinklers are classified in terms of gallons per minute, drip emitters are rated in gallons per hour. There are many benefits including less water loss caused by evaporation and overspray. Precise placement of water, which can mean healthier plants and fewer weeds. And the simplicity of installation and maintenance that a landscape drip irrigation system provides. The controller, or timer, is the brains of the system. It's a clock that can be programmed to start and stop the zones in your irrigation system automatically. The controller is rated according to how many zones it can operate those groups of sprinklers assigned to a certain area and connected to their own valve. The valves are like gates, holding the water back until it's wanted. There are basically two types. They can be anti-siphon valves installed above ground, if there's no backflow prevention device installed, or an inline type that is positioned under the ground and housed in a box, which then requires a separate backflow prevention device. Either version is on the receiving end of the low voltage signal from the controller which opens the valve, allowing water to flow to the sprinkler heads in that zone. 